It's time to learn the fastest way to create a dual tone effect in Photoshop. It's so easy and fun. Hi, I'm Christy Kerekes with Touch Plus and I create educational videos as you may have seen on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to work with two photos and I'm going to apply a dual tone effect on both using a simple method. So before we start, I would like to remind you that you can get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates and fonts with Envato Elements. Millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing and you can cancel anytime. Subscribe now with the link in the description. So the shortcut to getting good results for a duotone Photoshop effect is to use an action that gets you to the final result with a simple click, just like this. So you can either use an action or you can create your own duotone images really easy. So let me show you how. First of all, you need to understand how to choose the colors for an appealing duotone effect. I strongly recommend you to use this website color.adobe.com and choose complementary colors or monochromatic colors for the best results when creating duotone effects. You will always need a bright color for the highlights and a darker color for the shadows. When you choose complementary colors, they will be opposite to each other on this wheel. And if you choose monochromatic, they can be approximately the same color, one of them brighter and the other one darker. So in this case, I will choose a nice bright yellow and a dark blue. I will copy and paste these codes later. So let's get back to Photoshop and apply colors to this image. I'm going to need to tell Photoshop which are the highlights and which are the shadows on this image. One of the ways is to enter the channels tab right here. If this isn't enabled for you, just go to window and choose channels. So you have red, green and blue. Depending on the image, you should choose the channel that has a good contrast and a good balance in terms of shadows and highlights. And for this image, I feel like the blue channel is the most suitable. So all I need to do is to select the highlights from this blue channel. And I'm going to do it by holding down Ctrl and then clicking on the channel's thumbnail. You should see the selection, click on RGB to go back to the original look of the image and then go back to the Layers tab. From here, I'm going to add a solid color adjustment layer that comes by default with a layer mask that was filled in with the highlights information. In other words, we added the selection to this layer mask. It's time to copy and paste the colors from the website we talked about earlier. I'm going to go with this color for the highlights, so I select the code, copy it and then come back to Photoshop, paste the code here in this box and click OK. You can also rename this layer if you want to highlights. And for the shadows, I will add another solid color adjustment layer below this one. So I will click once on the background and then add an adjustment layer again. Going back to the website, I grab the code for this dark blue and paste it here in Photoshop. And from here, I can tweak it even more. It's nothing wrong with this. I can make it brighter or darker and then I click OK. You can rename it to background if you want. You can also just double click each solid color adjustment layer and change the colors at any point in time. On this other example, I use the same technique. For the highlights, I have chosen a vibrant green and for the shadows, a dark magenta. And this is the result. Duotone effects are really easy to do in Photoshop and it could take you just one minute to achieve results like in this video. Subscribe to Envato Elements to access millions of creative digital assets, including everything you've seen in this video. Also check out the Envato Tuts Plus channel and subscribe to learn Photoshop, Illustrator and much more.